iExplore is a web tool with a graphical interface for interactive knowledge exploration that allows non-technical users to explore the integrated knowledge bases. iExplore is designed for domain experts who do not necessarily need to know schema or how to write Sparkle. It is easy to use with just a click of the mouse. iExplore is available at noesis.write.edu slash iExplore. Once you launch iExplore, you can enter a term into the text box on the left-hand side and click the Explore button. The right box will show you a graph of semantic prediction that contains the term that you have given. You can continue to explore any concept in the graph by double-clicking on the node and selecting an option to explore the relationships. You can change the position of the graph to wherever you want to make the graph look neat. One concept may be involved in hundreds of predictions. You can limit the graph by restricting the number of nodes to be displayed at one time. You can also restrict the graph to display only one relationship. A biologist is interested in exploring the literature together with experimental data in Chagas disease. He wants to see how the current treatment of Chagas disease affects the genes of its causative agent, Trypanosoma cruzi, or T. cruzi. The exploration starts by expanding the concept Chagas disease and inspects its related concepts. Of particular interest to us are known treatments for Chagas disease. We restrict the graph to the treats relation using a filter. Among the treatment concepts, we focus on drugs categorized by semantic types, such as pharmacologic substance. We found the drug itraconazole known for treating various parasitic diseases and which has side effects. We pursue our exploration by expanding the graph with the relations of the concept itraconazole. Specifically, we want to explore the genes connected to itraconazole via the inhibits relation because they possibly indicate biological pathways involved in the treatment of Chagas disease. These genes may have T. cruzi ortholog such as CHRM1, or may not have T. cruzi orthologs, such as CD1. In summary, this sample scenario establishes a chain of named relationships from Chagas disease to itraconazole and human genes to T. cruzi genes. We generate a hypothesis from this chain that the T. cruzi orthologs of human genes inhibited by itraconazole may also be inhibited by itraconazole and thus be candidates for further studies into the mechanisms of actions of the drug itraconazole on T.